Hi everyone, Mrs. Red here. I just want to do a little bit of audio for this video um, before I cut to uh, music, um, just because there's a little bit of explanation needed in what I'm doing here. So I'm obviously setting up for a grid drawing. Um, and the reason why you, I'm putting that border in is purely because I'm doing it with a clear ruler not a wooden one um, so I can see that I am being perfectly straight with that just so that I've got that border um, around the artwork so do recommend doing that um, if you can rather than starting from the edge of the page but you really do need to have that clear ruler so that you can just make sure that you're doing everything nice and straight um, measuring up the bottom of the grid there as well just so that that bottom line is straight and I am going from it was a four centimeter grid on the um, the image of Patrick my beagle and I am stretching it out to a six centimeter grid so I'm just wanting to enlarge in the drawing a little bit and um, after I've done the grid drawing of Patrick, I'm yet to know what I'm going to do with it. So I definitely will be a mixed media piece, probably um, watercolour, maybe some brusho, maybe some, um, oh, what's it called? I can't remember. It's this dust that's got a metallic look to it and you can add it to your paints and it just gives it a little bit of a shimmer. Um, so I might do something like that, but that will be an entirely different video. Uh, now what I'm doing here is just marking my squares from one to five and then I think it's one to six. Um, just, it's, it's not a lot of squares for this one, but if you've got, if you're doing up a grid drawing that's quite tight, as in your squares are only say two centimeter squares, uh, you do get a bit confused as to which grid square that you need to draw on. So I'm just doing a little bit of a check here before I realise that um, I'm out of camera. I do realise that. Uh, the camera is above me, so I'm looking down at the drawing and not realising that I'm drawing off camera at the moment, but um, I do correct that. So um, what I'm doing here is because the eyes and the glasses there's quite a lot going on in in those two squares i'm actually just doing a rough grid again so i'm getting obviously the four little squares and the reason for this is because um, there is all that detail there's a lot of shape going on in those glasses you really want to get that in proportion and correct so it just makes it a lot easier Okay, sorry for the little blip there. Um, I realized that I had for some reason redrawn that in. I don't know whether it was a flat battery in the camera or I don't know. Anyway, um, back onto it. So doing those four squares just to um, make it a little bit easier to do the more detailed areas of the, of the face. Um, Patrick's wearing my glasses here and this photo shoot was literally about three seconds worth before they fell off his nose and they fell on the floor and he nearly picked them up <laughs> and I didn't want that so a uh, very quick photo shoot of this one. Um, now two things with this photo which um, I can't help with the actual photo is there's not a lot of detail going into his eyes, so I'm going to have to um, just, I mean, he's here, so I can take a look at him and uh, see where the browns are of his eyes and, and where it goes to the pupil. And the other area is the nose, where there's literally what you can see on that image is what I can see as well, it's just a black blob. So I've had to really, really try and um, put his nostrils in which will be interesting when it comes to actually what I do um, artwork wise with this drawing. Um, okay, so uh, I will probably put some music on now and uh, just let it run. Um, another thing to point out is you don't have to start in a certain area. You can jump around the page. I actually almost encourage that because that way when it comes to grid drawing, 
because you're breaking the drawing down into individual squares, you're drawing what's inside that square rather than a pair of glasses on a dog. So um, each individual square you look at individually and yes, the lines should all match up but that's not the, um, the intention of drawing with a grid. It's actually so that you get everything in proportion where it's meant to go. Just focus on one grid at a time. Um, and with that said, I'll throw it over to some music and enjoy the grid drawing. <laughs> 